Welcome back to Master Chef Norseman. Tonight we're going to be cooking the big feast chicken parmigiana, cheesy chips and veg. Mmm, looks delicious. On the menu is the brand. And guess what I'm going to cook it with? The power of the sun! Coming from a iTech World 1300p power station. Right, so let's see if I can follow the instructions. Remove frozen meal from carton. Done that. Place tray in microwave. Mmm. Okay, let's give it a go. And Fifi's here. And yes, I need to clean my floor, but just, you know, calm down. It's all right. Okay. So, put it in the microwave. This is the first time I've used it, um, so it's a bit exciting. Now, it doesn't say anything about piercing anything, as far as I can see. Heat on high at 1,000 watts. Now, this is a 700 watt microwave, because I um, couldn't get... A microwave that fit with the 1300p which is 1300 watts um, because I found out while I was looking at microwaves um, Kmart actually has an input and an output um, power thing and the one that I wanted was for the sort of like 1100 watts and I think it was 1500 watts output or something. I'll put it up on the screen so that you can see what I'm talking about, but it wasn't going to work um, uh, This does have uh, a Sort of a surge thing that you can use a large amount of power for a short amount of time for something that might Use more energy just briefly while it's starting up, but it does not cover this situation um, Damn, but that's okay um, This microwave and this meal oh, it looks all right um, this microwave cost all of $52, <laughs> um, free delivery from Kmart. And I also got, um, I'll do it another video on that. I got a sandwich, um, sandwich cook for 22 Um, ordered it last week, um, came today. Amazing. Anyway, let's get on to this. Stop talking. Eight minutes, it says, but it says for a thousand watts. So let's give it 10 minutes and see how it goes. Uh. Yeah, sorry about that. Couldn't see the start button. <laughs> it was too dark and I haven't sort of um used this before. Um but yeah look. Let's see how it goes. Um power currently is this is from the start, like right now. 1283 watts. So what I'll do, I'll keep watching and I'll just see what amount of watts it draws through the whole thing. And if there's any dramatic change, I'll let you know. But that's 1,278. Um, 700 watt microwave. So you be aware. And because they don't all have them on there, check the input and the output. Because I found that they were about 300, 400 watts difference in what was listed on the box. So please keep that in mind because if you don't have the right amount of um, size inverter to run your microwave, it's not going to run and you'll be very upset. Because you won't be able to have your parmesan and chicken and chips. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> I haven't had a microwave meal for like six months. That's probably a good thing, but um, yep. Okay, so to give you an idea, 7.58, so it means I've been running it for just over two minutes. And we've run the power down already to 96%. And that 1,274 ish has been consistent the whole time it's been running. Okay, so just so you can see in the book that it comes with, the Enco microwave oven, $52, oh my gosh, amazing. See it says 700 watts is the output. Now the power consumption is 1200 watts. Um, and it's actually, as you can see, 1250. It it's, hasn't gone over 1300, which is the maximum. But just so you know, be really careful if you haven't got um, something that can run um, the microwave that you are looking at buying. Just make sure that you've got 
you can see both of these things. Don't just go, oh, 700 watts, I can run a microwave. You can't. Um, I didn't know this because a lot of these times these places go, oh, yeah, you can run your microwave, you can run your fridge. What size fridge? What size microwave? Um, for people who don't know, uh, it can be an expensive mistake if you spend a little bit more than $52 on a microwave and find you can't use it. Um, so, yeah, heads up. Okay, 4.52, so it's been going for five minutes, just over five minutes. And power station's down to 91, still around the 1200 mark. Nothing has reduced or anything, so it's fairly consistent, somewhere between 1200 and something and under 1300 watts. Okay. Um, and like I said, this said cook it for eight minutes in a thousand watt microwave on high mm. so I put it in for ten maybe it's too long but we'll find out all right so I just actually stopped it with one minute and 16 seconds to go because thinking back to reading that booklet this is a 1200 watt microwave I guess um, See, see how it says 1200 watts consumption. So, mm, output 700 watts. Mm, not sure. So, I'm just going to just see whether it feels hot or whatever. It smells good. Certainly is bubbling. Um, let's see. Okay, and before I go any further, 84%. And on standby or on stop or just being switched on with that door open, it's using 23 watts. Okay, so I did try the chicken and while it was warmish, it wasn't as hot as the outside of the chicken and I just thought it might need just a little bit longer. So we've, we're, we're 82, 1195. That's interesting because before it was sort of a consistent 1200 watts. Um, same settings and everything, just haven't changed anything. Um, Okay, certainly like hot as, so um, I'm going to try again. Okay, so I can 100% confirm 10 minutes was probably a pretty good guess on my part because I've just opened this up and everything is hot as, um, maybe even too hot. It might have even worked in 9 minutes, but um, 10 minutes was a pretty good guess. And so just to confirm, 82%. And as you can see, there's a little bit of what's happening just because I would say the door is open and the light is on. So I would say that's why. Um, hope you enjoyed that video. Yep, and I'm going to enjoy my cheesy fries and chicken parmesana. Mm, mm, mm. Bye.